Hello, my darling family. Oh, wow. We have 10 people here. I can see Wolf Wolf. I can see Heather. I see Christian. I see William. I see Manny. Yeah, happy birthday to all you Scorpios out there. Mwah, my baby dragons. Ooh, boy, have we got some things to talk about tonight. Oh, my goodness. Well, who else we got here? Haiti, baby. Evelyn. Lilac. Nice. Your eyes got big. Why'd your eyes get big? You guys don't even know I have created a hater um what do you want to call it a cloud <laughs> uh it it's not even a repel well I just make them all disappear but it's like now I've got this whole cloud <laughs> Oh, you should hear some of the names I'm being called. Okay, whatever. God loves you. Bye-bye. Here, bitch. Here's some light. Have some of that. Hey, Lane. How you doing? I haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm that kind of person, you know. It's like, uh, I'm going to give you light whether you like it or not. You know, you, you want to project on me because, you know, you got problems. I can't help you. Hey, Peter. Woof, woof. Woofy, woof made it tonight. No, that I'm definitely not, Mr. Sharma. Uh-huh. Don't want that job at all. I am not judge and jury. I am just a facilitator of messages. I'm glad you love me, Heather. I love you. Donkey donk, donk, but donk, but donk is in here. How you doing, baby? Oh, yeah, it is. It really is. And Hey, Bianca. Hey, Rebecca. Wow, we got a lot of people in here tonight. Um, I was told that I destroy relationships because I'm a terror reader. The terror readers destroy relationships. No, weak minds destroy relationships because they manifest that shit into their life. What do I say in my readings, guys? I say, take what resonates and don't manifest the rest because your thoughts can create things. So if it doesn't resonate, go on with the, another read. Go, you know. Um, I mean, yeah, it, it's like for real. I'm not destroying, I'm telling a story and what the story says to me. I'm not there to destroy your life. If your life is destroyed, you did it yourself. <laughs> you did you enjoy that? I ain't worried about nobody. I got coconuts and shit. No, I'm good. <laughs> so, so all right. You know, I mean, for real. If you can't be happy with yourself, then you will never, ever be happy with someone else. Uh, Lane, yeah, I, I would, I would definitely, definitely be uh, wary of anything of such nonsense. Hmm. 
He is currently in Korea. How do you know? I mean, seriously, how do you know he's in Korea? And if he is in Korea, what do you know about this person? Have you met him in person? He's in the Navy. Oh, yeah, one of those, huh? Yeah, I've had a few of those too. I'm currently in Afghanistan and I would love to I would love to take you out. Well, hell, you're in Afghanistan. How the hell are you going to take me out? Just saying, you know. These are traps. And I want you to understand that if you do not meet these people in person, and, 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 and actually have, sit down and have a face-to-face -face conversation with them in person. Okay, well, we'll see about that. See, you say he's coming home in two months. Have you met him yet, Lane? Have you met him yet? In person, face-to-face, eye-to-eye. Well, there you go then. He can say anything he wants to say doesn't mean it's true and lots of people out there are getting trapped in that situation they're giving up money to people they don't even know yeah the military dating scams they, they yeah they're really rampant out there oh I, i'm deployed in, in in afghanistan or i'm i'm deployed in navy or uh, whatever hey can you go buy me an itunes card bitch no, I can't go buy you an iTunes card. I ain't buying you shit. I don't even know you. Yeah, exactly. God soldier, exactly. And if you are going to fall for it because you're that desperate, because that's what they that's what they prey on is desperate single people that are lonely and if you're lonely by yourself then that's where you need to start your work i like my own company in fact i don't feel like i get enough time on my own company and maybe that's just because i'm a pisces and a scorpio but that uh, you know besides the point uh Woman, whoever, Lane, look what just fell out when you asked that question. The Seven of Swords. Lying, cheating, and stealing. And that just fell out. Somebody across seas lying, cheating, and stealing and playing with magic, no less alchemizing the situation to suit their needs. And I hate to break it to you, baby, but this guy is bullshit. You need to have the strength to call, call bullshit bullshit. Yeah. And that's exactly what it is. You know, they, their job is to hook, line, and sinker you. That is all their job is. They work in a in a big uh, facility where their job is to hook, line, and sinker these, these lonely people who are desperate for attention. Trust me, I've been there. I didn't send them any money, but I've been there to the point where they had me convinced that they were, uh, they were who they said they were. Even uh, celebrities. And they turned out to be fakes. Because there are ways of checking. Plus, I'm psychic. So, that makes it a little makes it a little difficult. Hurry up, Christian. I'm going to need you tonight. That's for sure. So, that makes it a little difficult for me to, uh, to even integrate with a lot of people. Because I can see the bullshit coming from a mile away. Well, yeah, Rebecca, a lot of them are in Africa and India. 
because that's where them substations are set up and they're set up with like uh, a multi, uh, I guess it's like, it would be one IP address for a whole bunch of people. They're attached to the wrist. <laughs> no, William, you didn't. You did. <laughs> They're attached to the wrist. What do you mean by that? <laughs> so did. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> Hey, Sharon made it tonight. Hey, baby, how you doing? How you doing? Are we rocking and rolling this town or what? I can't play no music or they'll, or they'll copyright me. <laughs> Otherwise, we'd be jamming. <laughs> I guess it does, Christian. <laughs> My girlfriend's <laughs> To, yeah, actually, you know, if you think about it, Manny, you got 10 girlfriends. <laughs> you make them do anything they want. <laughs> I think we're all on that same boat at this point. Although, I, I don't even bother anymore. There ain't even nothing to light my fire anymore. It's like, a, you know, <laughs> he's got a harem. Yeah, he does. Without it, what a shame. And, and and it's it, it is, but hey April, how you doing, babe? Because we we really want that touch, that human interaction. It's not like we don't want it, but when we're approached by certain individuals, it's like ew, and we repel them. <laughs> Well, our energy repels them anyway. I, I don't, you know, I don't know about the their energy is too try, too busy trying to grab on, and you're like, eh, eh, what was the show? <laughs> that show where they got that guy used to do that all the time? <laughs> Everyone, just. Touch it. You want to be acting? Just let me touch it, baby. I'll reach out and touch somebody. <laughs> I'm scared, man. You got a lot of dark shit out there. I don't want to play with none of them assholes. Especially to this solar eclipse. Do I hear a flying saucer? Um, oh, I know, Lane, and, and you really want to believe, <laughs> you know, as soon as you say something, a card pops out, Lane, the Ten of Swords just popped out, betrayal, um, it's anything that you have to help someone with. Uh, it, there, I, I know, I know you want to be in service to others, but you have to be in service to yourself first and you have to fill your own cup. You have to make sure that you're okay, that you're taken care of, that you got what you need. And then you can go help others. What, what was that reference? Somebody said about the thing on the, on the plane, you got to put your mask on. So you can help other people put their mask on. Otherwise, you just go pass out with the rest of them. He was offering to help you. Uh, how was he offering to help you? I mean, he might be legit. If he's not asking for money, 
then or, or if he's asking you to take your money and open the IRA account, red flag. If he's going to, he can do, if he's in the service, he can open his own damn IRA account. Especially if he's in the United States service. This is what people don't understand. Uh, unless he sends you cash money and not a check, okay? Because I've gotten a few of those funky checks in the mail as well. Um, you <laughs> tell him, say, I only take cash. That's what you tell him, Lane. And see where he goes with that. Say, well, um... Unless you're going to send me cash, I don't see no way of doing this. I've checked every avenue, and I, I don't see no way of doing this unless you send me cash in the mail. You send me $10,000, and, and I'll go put it in an IRA account for you. <laughs> you know? I mean, if he really wants to help you, he'll help you. But it's a belief. It's a belief. So, scammers, scammers everywhere. Even people pretending to be me. Me. I'm not even, you know, that popular. In fact, <laughs> I think I got just as many haters as I got lovers. People who love me. <laughs> because I'm different. Because I'm not afraid to speak my truth. So, speaking my truth and being the asshole that I can be sometimes... That queen of muff fucking swords makes me trash. <laughs> Look in the mirror, bitch. That's all I got to say. You want to see trash? It's you projecting your shit on me. And, and Lane, go with your gut, man. Go with your gut. Do not listen to that heart of yours. It'll fool you every time. I mean, I'm not saying don't ever listen to it because everybody wants to feel love. We all love each other. Group hug, group hug. Well, you know, we got one lady in here today had to deal with dog fight so during the eclipse. So you guys don't feel bad. Send her healing. Rebecca. Yeah, send send her some healing. She she's she's wounded. Love hugs and bill bottoms. I bought me a pair of those a little while back. I got two pairs now. Bell bottoms. I never thought I'd buy bell bottoms. I hated them when I was a kid. Oh, it was a bad dog fight, Wolf. You got to feel bad for her because she got big dogs. She got little dogs. She got six of them. Yep. I love bell bottoms too. But I didn't when I was a kid. When I had to wear them in the 70s, I didn't like them. Well, they were high-waisted, too. Now you can buy hip hookers. And my waist is not long enough for the high-waisted jeans. I just look, I, I look totally, like, out of proportion in them high-waisted jeans because I my waist is down low. <laughs> so they look like they're up around the lower part of my breasts. This is, I'd be better off with a pair of overalls or some spenders. Yeah, Heather, if you if you are allowing people to abuse you, then you need, you need some serious healing in yourself because I don't let nobody abuse me anymore. Nobody. In my chat, in my comments, call me names like that. Bye, bitch. And that's why my channel is not 100,000 strong. Because I won't just sit there and take it and take it and take it off of, off of all. 
all these people who are going through the dark night of the soul and don't know what the hell's happening. They're waking up in hell and blaming me for it. Okay, I guess if you got to blame somebody, I might as well be the one. <laughs> I mean, I'm for real. And if, and, and if anybody ruins your life, it's you. I don't, I don't ruin anybody's life. Why? Because you got busted in, in a story I told? Because <laughs> that happens. I think in that Leo video, that's why I don't do the other, I don't do the other signs very much because it ends up messing with my with my vibe. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Christian. Um, and, and I think in one of those videos I did. I might have uh, forced somebody to get a paternity test and they found out they wasn't the daddy. So, you know, I, I can't, I can't, I can't predict what I'm going to say. It just, it comes out the way it comes out. Oh, awesome, Pamela. Well, welcome. Welcome to our freaky deek. Cha -cha. We have a lot of fun in here, though. A lot of these people don't understand this, so you know they'll they'll sit and watch, but they won't participate. And, and that's that's it, Karen. They get mad because they've been found out, <laughs> and I'm the one who's the trash. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I I'll take you out with the rest of them, but. Bye-bye. <clears throat> yeah. No, get a life. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Hold on. Yeah, God bless the trash, because without that, we wouldn't have any, any entertainment. I mean that in the, in the sweetest of ways. Yes, I do. <laughs> God, God, soldier, exactly. And, and and they don't want to face that mirror. They don't want to face that truth. So, oh, I protect myself all the time, baby. In fact, I've got a I've got a, a banishment prayer here. We're gonna go ahead and do it. Sorry to hit y'all on the head like that. I didn't mean it. We're going to go ahead and do it before we get to start. Now, this is a little bit long, so be patient. Anyone who stands with hatred or jealousy in their heart towards me, I send them love. Anyone who tries to put me down, make personal comments about me, excuse, accuses me of things I have not done and would never do, or spreads lies about me, I forgive them. Anyone that devotes their time to belittling others through, through name-calling and passive-aggressive posts, I see who they are. May healing be given to those lost and traumatized souls, and may they find the peace, joy, bliss of happiness that I myself have now found. In the gratitude to the galactic reality, universal reality and the source consciousness, with continuing to provide us with every lesson and challenge we need in order to grow stronger. In the face of your hatred, I hold my love. In the face of your attacks, which cannot reach me and cannot find me. For I am hidden from your view. I go stronger in the face of your ridicule, and I hold even more confidence. Be you traumatized soul or fully negative polarized faction. You cannot touch me, no matter how much you rage or torture yourself with frustration and darkness. 
For I hold immunity for the love and grace ever, ever bestowed upon me within my personal and collective initiation and anointing into the higher dimensional architecture. Wolves and lions walk with me. The raven sits on my shoulder and the dragons fly above me, offering me their passage, should I choose to ride them. Look for me and you will find shadows. Call me with ill intent and you will only mirror only find a mirror you shall, shall see shrouded in mystery. Demand I show myself to you, and my wolf pack will step forward in my place. I am lost to you and will remain that way. Yet, when you ask for me with love in your heart as a friend and not a foe, when you call me my name, with a pure heart as a divine sister, brother, mother, father of the divine feminine light, I will be there. I will hold your hand and be with you and love you always. When you cry, I will be with you. When you rage, I will hold you and comfort you and tell you not, not to be in fear. We stand strong together always. Together and within that, none can harm us. And no one can ever come close without the beloved body of Christ. Your humble servant, scribe, as I draw breath, Anya. And you can all add your, your names to that. The collective consciousness. So there you go. Like it or not. I just banished your ass. I just ate a cup, your ass, and quit a sword to your ass with the truth. So mode it be. <laughs> yep. And that is how it is. I love you. I love you. I love you. No matter how much you hate me. You're welcome, Wolf Wolf. Everybody add their name. Because, you know, you are but a shadow to them if they cannot see. Mm -hmm. Elephant's one of my favorite animals, too, as well as the wolf. The wolf wolf. I love the wolf. The wolf and the raven and the hawk. What other animals? Oh, I love deer. Guinea shies. <laughs> Isn't that a god? Yeah, yeah. The dragon is my is my overall personality. I have I my galactic sin, signature, I swear to God, is the red galactic dragon. So I am here to embody love and to teach with it. Whether anybody wants to hear the truth or not, I had to learn how to be the Queen of Swords on my own. And that was because I kept giving and giving and giving and kept making excuses for other people and picking up the pieces and, 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 and taking responsibility. I made it my problem one too many times. That is why I made that song. It's your problem. If y'all haven't checked it out yet, go on back. Little ways you'll find it. You look on my community page. It's called Your Problem. And I made up the song. It's like grandma rap. Grandma rap, because I'm grandma. So I made up my own song. There we go. Oh, I love the panther too. That's that's another one of my favorite animals. The black panther. They're the coolest looking animal out there. 
Why do you want to smoke a sage like cigarette for? Ugh. That sounds disgusting. I mean, it smells good and all, but I definitely won't, won't want to stick it in my mouth. Speaking of which, let's make sure it's all gone, shall we? Yeah, yeah, you guys go bye-bye. One's calling me names and talking shit. Go look in your own mirror and leave mine the hell alone. I got coconuts and shit. I actually don't, but you know what I mean. The dragon's den. Yes, this is dragon's blood sage. This is to scare all the predatorial energies away. Out of my energy. <laughs> all right, enough of that there. <laughs> Somebody asked me, and, 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 and they said, how many tops do you have? I said, I'm a Taurus moon. I said, I go for all the deals. So I don't even know how many I got. Especially winter clothes. I had to stock up because I moved here from L.A. I didn't have any winter clothes. I had light jackets. I had to buy boots and shit. Just so I could make, you know, I mean, we had a power outage at three, you know, what was weird? Power outage at three o'clock this morning. It was like almost 3.30 in the morning. And all of a sudden everything went off. I knew it, it felt like it was really hot in here. So I opened, I got up and then the power went off and opened a window and for some reason, I felt the need to go lighting incense all over my house and uh, and and to burn some uh, dragon's blood sage. And I don't know what I was. I, yeah, I was I was I was lighting candles almost in every room, burning incense. I don't know what the hell was going on last night, but damn. Oh, I get, I get the, um, the Arabian smells. I love them. They're no more expensive than the other ones. <laughs> it's not just buying things. It's like finding the deals, you know? <laughs> it's like, oh, I like that. And it's on sale. <laughs> <laughs> what a man. <laughs> you guys. Yeah, I mean, gosh. Half off, I'm on it. That's okay, Kim Willy Wonka. I love your, love your name. Willy Wonka. Kimbo Willy Wonka. You got, hey, I got the hat. I, 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 I was debating on whether to be Galadriel or a demon for Halloween, so I got both. I was going to show it to you guys. <clears throat> but it looks like it's going to be Galadriel because that one looks really cool. I love the elf ears. They so match me. Check it out. Talk about Willy Wonka. I'll be a blonde Willy Wonka. <laughs> you love the lights. Can you see them? They turned off. There they are. <laughs> You <laughs> beautiful nutbag. <laughs> yeah, well.
we're all a bunch of we're all a bunch of uh, odd ones in here. That's why that's why I call us the big dogs. Yeah, you didn't see my picture, Starlet. I posted. I tried on. I tried on my costume. I'm going on Saturday night to a bar where they, you know, it, it, it's money <laughs> talks. I met him once too when I was like 18, 19 years, 19 years old. Went to Gainesville for a outdoor barbecue and biker thing. Yeah, anybody can show you photos. Anybody can, hey, anybody can sit there and and, and FaceTime you or what's doing and fool you into believing they're who they're whatever they want you to believe. Awesome, Rebecca. You go, girl. Whoop whoop. It takes a little bit, but <laughs> man, oh, you poor dang! I know how it is. I had I had a friend of mine tell me about an experience like that once. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You sang and everything. Awesome! Woohoo! So yeah, I want I I'll come check you out, Rebecca. I'll subscribe. Cause we rock in this house. We rocking in inside out. Black green, six nine six nine, nice handle. But you you go. You go. Hey Aaron, how you doing? Hey Rebecca, you know, that's what I want to do. I want y'all to go find your own power. To go find what lights that fire and makes you sing and makes you happy and 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 you know, bliss, love. That's all I want you. Hey, Pittsburgh, what's up? Um, I don't want people to be depressed. I mean, there, there's a lot of crap going on out there. We, we can all deal with that. But once you find your bliss, it's like not too much can take it away. It, and, and you find that within. You don't find it without. Because as soon as you look for it outside yourself, you're going to be disappointed, I guarantee you. Because ain't nobody going to live up to your expectation of what it should look like. There is a lot going on. And that is to keep you in confusion. And so you don't find your own power. So you don't find your own center. So you don't find your own self. I'll check you out, baby. I will definitely check you out. A lot of times I say this shit, what do I say a lot of stuff that everybody thinks. It's, I mean, it's only normal. It's, it's February 29th, I'm the 28th, baby. Um... It's only normal for people to think of things in a realistic term. Fear can stop everything. That's your root chakra. That'll keep you from ascending. That'll keep you from kundalini rising. That'll keep you from everything. And that is what they, you know, whoever it is, like I said, I don't even know who they are because I'm hidden from them and they're hidden from me. So... I can't tell you, but I know that fear is the number one, number one weapon to keep everybody going, oh, 
Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. So you can't sit still and find your own power. And it's not even the entertainment because fear is helpful to us in such things. Like say you're walking through the woods and you encounter a mountain lion. You better go climb a tree and run. I'm just saying fear can be helpful. But um, when it's just like a belief, then you can manifest that out of thin air. Exactly. We have nothing to fear but fear itself. Nothing, nothing that is meant for you will leave you behind. <laughs> <laughs> yep subconscious programming and that's what we're here to be a glitch up we're glitches how you like that how you like that title we ain't bitches we glitches <laughs> you're the one that's gonna go bitch <laughs> <laughs> Be the glitch you want to see. I do watch TV. I get very entertained by movies and stuff. I just think they're a little far fetched. I want that green screen and 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 and, and trying to create my own special effects. I bet I make a good uh, Stanley Kubrick or a uh, what's the other guy that made Star Wars. What's his name? Oh, God. Whatever. Queen of Cups, Four of Swords, Ten of Cups. Somebody lied about a family to a Queen of Cups who's trying to heal in the Two of Swords whether she should forgive them or not. I can take that as a personal one. I took the purple pill. I'll make some blue and the red together. <laughs> George Lucas, that's his name. <laughs> Aiden, nice to have you. Just <laughs> I took both. What does that make me? Because <laughs> you mix red and blue, you get purple. Hello, Israel. Oh, my goodness. What time is it there? Like in the middle of the morning? What, nine hours ahead? Well, I know India is. I'm not sure about Israel. West Virginia in the house. 2.43 a.m. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, honey, I'm glad you decided to be here with us at 2.43 a.m. You're not sure whether to leave your partner or be single. Oh, remember, I'm here to destroy relationship schools, so I can't make that decision for you. But I will see what we can pull out of the cards. Okay, Rebecca? People are so uneducated. Some... Um... Well, if you're not sure, baby, the decision's about to be made for you. Not to you, but for you. If you're not happy in this relationship, that's exactly what's going to happen. Because you're not being your honest, true self. That's what you have to do is be your honest, true self. Otherwise, you get this. Seven of Swords. Somebody's lying, cheating, and stealing because they're afraid to be by themselves. Don't do that. There's nothing wrong with being by yourself. Lena, I got you next. Yeah, he sure is. He sure is. It is judgment day. And it is now time for you to step into your power. 
the power that you wield through the Almighty. Don't think that you own that power. Because God will slap your ass back to earth that quick. You are a tool in which for it to be guided. A chi for it to be created through the divine. You are not the divine. You are a divine being, but you are not the divine. There's always a power above you. Okay. Yeah, there's somebody coming towards you, a much younger person. Um, don't be foolish, Pisces. Could be an Aries. This page of Pentacles is somebody who takes their time to come towards this hot mama. And you're sitting there stuck. Don't do it. That's about it. That we are the driving force of this awakening. Whether you know it or not. I'll go ahead and get someone for work. Well, I'm glad you stopped in. Hey, Jeffro. <laughs> That's what. What's that from? Um, he Man. I have the power. Good morning from South Korea. I usually say, sometimes when I come on here, I say, Good morning, Vietnam. And then I go, oh, shit, I'm still in Ohio. <laughs> but we're glad to have you. What time is it in Korea? Uh, you're like, what, 16 hours ahead of me? So it's like 8.47 or something like that in the morning. On my chain, is that a fish? No. But the power of gray school. Yeah, that one. I have the power. I <laughs> swear. <laughs> no, what I have on my chain is the Hamza hand with the evil eye on it, with the repellent. Heck it take he. Alpha and the Omega symbol. And Shungite to absorb frequencies. Rebecca, I got you next. Uh, you asked if you should move out of your house. I think it would be a big healing for you if you did. If you should, look, this is the seven of wands. This is you having to stay on your guard all the time to try to heal. There's a star at the end of the tunnel and it's the 10 of pentacles, but I don't think it's, I don't think it's where you're at now. Yeah, it's time to move on, baby. Six of Wands. Wow. Couldn't have planned that one any better. When you move on, you'll find your treasure. Whatever that means. Chastity. Let's not use names. Use Zodiac signs. Okay? It's just easier for me to... Plus, we don't want to put any names on anything. 7.15. Well, at least it's a.m. in Western Australia. It's not like 2.30 in the morning like Israel. Oh, my gosh. Oh, thank you. You're welcome, Gabriel. Not, no problem. I love what I do. 
Diamond popsicles? I'll take about a 10 dozen of those. Who's I reading for next? Um, um, what did I mean exactly? About what? I don't remember, I don't remember what I say half the time after I say it. Chastity. We have a codependent behavior here. Somebody having the strength to overcome somebody that they love that does nothing but lie to them. Or you're lying to them. I mean, vice versa. It can go either way. Somebody's lying to somebody about loving them. Death. This needs to be over. Are y'all fighting? Because the fighting is what needs to stop. Baby, <laughs> leave me alone. I got coconuts and shit. <laughs> Lilac, you just ask questions, and then if I catch you, I catch it. Oh, no, I feel like somebody's lying about the way they feel, baby, and you need to get to the bottom of that. How did I learn to read tarot? You know what, Zena? That is a really good question. Somebody sent me a deck of cards right in at my the beginning of my awakening. And I had just, I mean, for years and years and years, I was on painkillers for a broken neck. And I stopped taking them on my own about 2015. And 2016, it was like, bam, a light went on. And I started investigating spirituality and, and, and getting crazy about it. And then out of nowhere... Somebody sends me a deck of tarot cards. I didn't order them. I didn't. Somebody just sent them to me. And this was when I was in California. And I picked them up. And I just knew how to read them. It was the weirdest thing ever. But that entail started my dark night of the soul. Rebecca, I... I got me, myself, and Irene. See, she's over here. I mean, I, I got nobody. My family thinks I'm loopy. Um, my friends definitely think I'm loopy. Uh, because they don't relate. They don't relate. They're too busy stuck in that. Oh my god, it's life is over. I'm gonna I'm gonna crash. And I'm sitting here in the corner going. Oh, been there, done that. Ate it, threw it back up again. What you want me to do about it? It's not my problem anymore. In fact, I'm going to put that song down at the end of this, uh, down in the uh, description box of this video so y'all can listen to it. Because you will understand, especially if you're a Pisces, uh, because you, you've made it your problem so many times that you just don't care anymore. It's not that you don't care, that you don't love. I mean, you definitely do, probably harder than most signs ever thought about. Um, but it's more like you just, you, you're spent, man. You, you're spent making it your problem. You, you've been doing it for so long that it's like, now I can't do it no more because then if I do it again, I disappear. I, I become nothing. I become no one because... I'm your, you know, you're my problem, and that's all I've got to deal with is your problem. Because I have nothing on my own. Okay. I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it in the, in the comments. Hold on, let me find it. It's funny. And I made it up myself. It's, I call it Grandma Rat. I do a bunch of lip syncing, too, if anybody has not ever checked that out. I don't get paid for that. I just have to... I have a good time expressing myself through music. That is what I do the best. 
I was a musician for 20 something, 20, 24, 25 years. So, yeah. <laughs> Man, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I'm going to put it in the, in the chat box. Because it's funny. Grandma roller skating. Yep. Yeah. It got it got a short of me roller skating too in my apartment. I haven't gone to the roller skating rink yet. I'm still kind of scared. But hold on. Here we're gonna play it, guys. Listen, listen, listen. White people style. I don't think. Yeah, I bought music for it and everything. You can't hear it? Damn it. I'm gonna have to just get the get the uh thing. Now said it's not my problem. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you guys. <laughs> yes, Pisces is a feminine sign. Lane, I'm right there behind you, baby. I just, I, I would love to find somebody to love. Don't you want somebody to love? Don't you need somebody to love? Jefferson Airplane, if you don't know who that is. Um, we all want that. But there comes a time when you have to understand your worth and your value and that you're worth more than somebody's secondhand ass time. You know, you go out of your way for them to uh, to make it comfortable and nice for them and be all good to them. And, uh, and then they blow you off and show up at nine o'clock and say, I'm here. Let's do this. Bitch, I get a bucket of water and a broom. Tell you what, <laughs> I got something for you. Charging you fees for what? For what? Thank you, Gabriel. Thank you. Okay. I had I had a law case. All right. Are there any good people approaching Pisces right now? Well, you know, um at this time I'm not gonna even give it a shot because I, I've gotten I've gotten a few death threats. <laughs> so I ain't gonna just gonna stay in my cave. Will you ever meet your person? Lane, yes, you will. You just have to wait a little minute. With the Page of Pentacles and the Hierophant, listen to your own self first. And don't settle for less than you deserve. Don't settle for less than you deserve. Equal give and take. Four of Wands. You don't keep giving and giving and giving, and then somebody else keeps taking and taking and taking, and then it be an even keel because no, that puts you on a low vibration, 
Therefore, keeping you from manifesting because it keeps you manifesting from a place of lack. If you keep, if you, if you manifest from a place, place of lack, Lane, you will only manifest more lack. If you gave them a chance, you gave them a chance. Shit, do it once, shame on you. Do it twice, shame on me. Because I stuck around for the second ass woman. Uh, that's all I'm going to say right about that. Oh, my God. Really, Manny? Oh, my God. But, you know, that's a thing. I didn't know it was a thing until I got on, I got on dating sites. I didn't know, I, you know, to me, it don't matter how tall you are. If you're hot, you're hot. I mean, if you're not, you're not. <laughs> I don't care how tall or short, indifferent you are. The minute you can look boy, you ain't got nothing to worry about. It's better than alcohol, Anna. I get tell you that much right now. They don't call it spirits for nothing. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you. I was just talking about you a little bit ago. Only if you, I mean, do you think it's bad? Does it feel bad? Does it make you feel bad if you do it? Do people throw cards at you if you do it? Say, you shouldn't do that because it makes you disgusting. Or does it make you feel bad on your own? Okay. That's what matters here. What makes you feel like you're doing the right thing? Not what everybody else tells you. Earl, what am I smoking tonight? Nothing, unfortunately. Can't you tell how awake I am? <laughs> and these, sometimes it has that effect. Sometimes people smoke and it opens their crown chakra like big time and they like get super attached to God and they can't come down. It's like, I got to gotta touch my foot to the ground. That's when you need to do some grounding, baby. Because there, there is no, like I said, there's only the balance. Our mother does not take sides. I like to get lost. I get lost in not only me, I just smoke anything. <laughs> I get lost in my own fucking I don't want I you you ever had a feeling what what I come in here for? I do that all the time. That's what I'm saying, Anna. You got you got you got you know what might be right for somebody else just ain't right for you. Or what be right for you might not be right for somebody else. You are not judge, jury, and executioner. God is. So you do you and don't worry about, I always say your opinion is none of my business. Your opinion of me is none of my business. If you don't like me, that's fine. Bippity boppity boo. There you go with all of them too. Fuck you. <laughs> Oh, that's for sure, William. <laughs> I like that. Be yourself. Everyone else is taken. Because they're themselves. 
I have been lighting so much incense lately, <laughs> Manuel. Like I said, I got up at three o'clock in the morning because all, all the lights went out. And it kind of freaked me out because of what time it was. And it was an eclipse. So I got up and I lit a bunch of incense and dragon's breath and uh, dragon's blood, excuse me. And, and uh, yeah, lit every candle in my house. In fact, I ordered new candles. I was like, you know what's weird about that? Yeah, and Tony is not here, baby. He's probably tired. He's been working himself to the bone. Plus, he's trying to stock up for winter. Got to understand, he lives in what? Ireland? Or no, he lives in England. He lives in the UK. So, his, he, he, he knows what he's got to do. He has been well informed. Uh, Rebecca, they say my perfect match is a Pisces, all right? I don't think I can handle another me in the house. Don't think I could do it. I'm a big enough smart ass. Me and another Pisces, we probably make best friends. But as far as being my perfect match, yeah, if we want to be rolling around on the floor in the middle of the afternoon. <laughs> Because we both want the same thing at the same time. <laughs> oh, that's true. That's true. That's true. Yeah, exactly, niece. If I if I if I, if I had if I got with it, you know, because Pisces gets bored easy with people. <laughs> I'm just going to put it to you like that. We're too busy living in like the netherworld or the other world that, well, Scorpios don't bore us. They, they fuck with us because they don't bore us. They're exciting. And uh, that's why a lot of times Pisces is drawn to Scorpio. But Pisces gets so bored so easily. They, they You know, it's like, okay. We're all done with that. Now what? Okay. Still got energy. Okay. What are we doing now? La la la. I got, oh, oh, I got us. I got an idea. I'm going to sit down and I'm going to, I'm going to write a story. You know, like I said, Pisces, they'll go from one. See, that's why I call myself the nutty professor, like the, like the Merlin in the cartoon, because I do stuff like that, and I'm looking for everything everywhere and throwing shit around looking for it. And the next thing you know, I got to clean my house up because I'm OCD. I got Virgo in my midheaven, and, and I got to clean it all up, make it all perky and shiny. Yep, yep. Rebecca, you feeling this hard, baby. Justice, you feeling this hard. Oh, yeah, definitely get the code event. Yeah, vampires hurt. Get them off. Get them off. <laughs> you drew, you drew, probably drove a Taurus crazy. I drive all Tauruses crazy. With, with the Pisces sun, Scorpio rising, yeah, I, I drive all Tauruses crazy. Because I, ne I never, my mother was a Sagittarius. I don't even know what the rest of her, her, I never looked into her chart. But she was one of those mothers, everything had a place and there was a place for everything. And I would always move it and it would piss her off. Why didn't you put it back where I had it? <laughs> because I enjoy fucking with your memory. No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it. Pay attention to your coconut and shit. <laughs> I got rid of all the vampires. That's why I'm sitting here by myself.
Oh my God, gives your stuff away when you're not. <laughs> I'd be mad. I'd be like, Ma. I remember when I was a little kid, and I and you know when we cleaned our, me and my brother cleaned our room, we'd shove everything into the bed. And I remember she used to come in there, and she used to pull all, everything out from underneath the bed, pull everything out of our closets, just stick it in the middle of the floor, and make us make us put it away right. <laughs> No, I'm not by myself. <laughs> I'm never alone. Never alone. I got my mommy. I got my grandmommy. I got my ancestors from long ago. They stick with me all the time. You too, Jeffro. Having a wonderful night. Oh, Sagittarius. <laughs> they're only terrorists when they when they know not what they do. When they're ignorant of their own light. Aaron, it's because we know how to cut that shit off. Yeah. I, I mean, you could push a Pisces so far. And the Pisces is going to, that's why I call myself the queen of motherfucking swords. Because, I mean, like I said, I put that song in the chat. It's not my problem anymore. I made it my problem one, one too many times. Now you get the queen of swords. You don't like that. I'm sorry. I can't help you. You want to know whether your partner is good for you, please? Yeah, Sagittarius is, depending on where the rest of their placements are, are pretty decent people. My husband was a Sagittarius. My mother was a Sagittarius. My grandmother was a Sagittarius. My grandfather was a Sagittarius. Only a couple of days apart from my grandmother. Who asked me a question? Somebody asked me a question. The last guy I dated was a Sag with Scorpio placements. An Aquarius rising. Talk about a cut off bitch. Will there be extra cash coming my way? Rebecca King. You're going to have to wait on it, baby. At least three months. You don't see it yet, but I see it coming. Give it about three months. I think you already know this. Maybe around Pisces season or February. Yeah. You get in trouble for telling people to pick up their shit? My mom used to, my mom used to, used to I, I didn't like to do dishes either. She made me stand at the sink and do dishes when I was seven. You get even by not speaking, Aaron. You get even by cutting a bitch and not saying a word. And then they say, well, she did this and she did that and blah, 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 blah. And your opinion of me is none of my business. I can give a shit. Because even bad publicity is good publicity, bitch. Just saying. You want to talk bad about me? Go right ahead. Add some if you like. Tell the truth. Add some. Make it creative. <laughs> Come with me to the forest, little kitties. <laughs> Woof, woof. That means it's working, baby. That means it's working.
Mine's always in the gutter in this chat room, baby. And that's it. How you respond makes all the difference in the world. Not what they said, how you respond. Yeah, I don't even want any relationships, Fanny. I'm to the point where them coconuts are just fine. Uh, you know, and, and you could, you could, you could create that bridge, Manny, with love, with compassion. But if they want to burn it, there's nothing you can do about it. Oh, I love that, Aaron. That's awesome. There's not enough Clorox clean up my mind. I'll bet. I wouldn't even want to get in there. I'd be scared. If I got if I got dreamscaped in here, I'd be scared, Christian. And I don't scare easy. It's just me, myself, and I too. And all my coconuts. La la la. <laughs> and my elf ears. Don't forget my those look pretty cool on me, don't they? <laughs> I look like I, they ain't much different than my own ears, see? <laughs> Hey, just to add a little bit of length to them, that's all. It's the Virgo I'm with in my life, my life partner. How many people have you asked about, Rebecca? <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I'll just check it out for you. I have a mini Coco. <laughs> Obviously. Um, nope. They are lucky, however. But they keep you juggling. They keep you wondering what the hell's up. Look at the guy's face on this card. Um, um, which one do I pick? Which one do I pick? The King of Pentacles. That's which one I pick. But he's feeding you illusions. Just saying. You have two, a choice between two there, sweetie pie. King of Cups and a King of Pentacles. <laughs> Better little good goodness in there at all, no doubt. We are so bizarre, you guys. Isn't it a compliment? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I got a song. I got a lovely bunch of coconut. <laughs> I got a song. Wolf Wolf got you next. Yeah, Manny, me too, man. I can have, I can make my own pentacles. I want some cups. Somebody with a full cup, not this half-ass shit. Oh yeah, woof woof. Woohoo! He's spying on you. Three of Wands. He's been spying on you for a while. He's obsessed with you. Thinks you're hot. Wants the Ten of Cups. I don't know who that person is, but damn. <laughs> That's why you got to start looking at looking at your higher self. Rebecca, go within, man. Once you go within, you don't go without. <laughs> well, you know, I'm still contemplating the Sagittarius, even though he's a little shithead. I'm still contemplating it. Unless he goes out and gets some other person knocked up. 
which you know he's into those younger girls. I think I just see that's that's part of the problem. I don't want to sleep with everybody he's sleeping with. Yeah, it don't matter. We'll, we'll be, he's got he's got some way of watching you. He might be driving by your house because I did get the six of wands, which tells me travel. I know, honey, he's not the one. I, you know, I don't know what the one is anymore. Because like I said, that's why my love potions don't work. Is because I don't even know if I want one. <laughs> Not permanently. Uh, I don't know, Scott, you got too much baggage. Thank you. Come again. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, I believe I, I feel you, niece. That's exactly what I want. I want I want somebody who matches my energy. I'm tired of 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 giving and giving and giving and and being the one on the on on the wrong end of the shtick. You know what I mean? <laughs> I I never did. I just want to know. I, I would like to know what it likes to be able to, to play, to knock it around a little bit. But <laughs> that'd be about the only entertainment I get out of it. Oh, Christy. That sounds like a narcissist. Love bombing. Yep. Rush in, give you all the nice stuff after they left you out in the cold. Because they're a liar. You're not in danger, but this person is full of crap. What are you talking about for uh, tarot cards? Exactly, Rebecca. Exactly. Willing to match my energy and walk beside me. Well, concentrate on stabilizing yourself, Manny, and then worry about that part. You know, you got to worry about you first. Make sure that you're good. And then from there, you can manifest a healthy relationship as opposed to one that is out of balance, that sucks you dry, or that you suck them dry. I mean, it could go either way. It could go either way. I've been, I've been, I've been the sucky and I've been the sucker. <laughs> God, you William. <laughs> General for you. Queen of Cups, Six of Pentacles. And four cups. You got somebody wanting to be fair to you, but you don't know whether you want to take it or not, William. It looks like they might be an emperor. It looks like they might be an emperor. So, I mean, hell, at least they're an emperor. You got a choice to make, William. It's Aries energy. Me too, she's me. Me too. Bring me bring me some hottie from wherever that is on my level. We could sit and have hour long conversations with each other, not just do the do. Yeah, when you meet somebody that's unbalanced, you feel that shit right away. Right away. Especially if you're a Pisces or a Scorpio. Because you can see right through them. I see right through you. 
death becomes her or she shot a thing through or blew a hole through her and then threw some through her. <laughs> New sticks for everybody. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> you guys know I visualize shit. Stop doing that to me. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Seeing right through it. That is your challenge. Knowing the real from the fake. Well, you have a choice between two, a king of pentacles and a king of king of cups. Do you want love or do you want money? You got a choice. You never know that money, that love might have money behind it, and you just don't know that yet. Because it's trying to test you to see if that's all you're after. Damn, Christy. That's quite the chart you got rising there. You should be a rock star. Yeah, I got I got a visual with that holster, the whole, whole holster thing there, <laughs> and and that it's spoken like a true Scorpio awakening. Choose both, <laughs> but that is a Pisces thing too, because Pisces is like, well, this one serves this need, and and this one's hot and turns me on. So, um, um, um. But I get bored with both of them after a while, so what should I do? You keep both of them. <laughs> you just don't tell us the home about each other. Or you do. I mean, it could be all like that. <laughs> Such chaps. Stop it, Heather. Uh, I, got, I see that. <laughs> <laughs> Bring them together. So let's just get a group hug now. <laughs> no, I think it's safer the other way there, uh, William. I think it's just safer to leave them in their own spaces. Thank you, Divine Healing. We just goof off in here on Wednesdays and Saturday nights. That's what we're pretty cl close, tight knit family in here. Lots of people can't handle our humor and uh, the way to save a horse, ride a gavel. <laughs> and our smart Alec comments. Assless <laughs> chaps. <laughs> now that's a sight. Damn, I saw all that. I saw all that. And you didn't even have to, you didn't even have to paint me a picture. I saw it all. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. We make each other cry in here. We, you know, well, nobody else is going to do it. We might as well do it to each other. Woohoo! Team Cowboy, saddle up. That's right. <laughs> Give what you wish for. <laughs> Get a book. In. <laughs> you all the way in California, man. Don't you talk to me about that shit. I'm both, so I have to go with the flow. Me too, Heather. Well, see, Rebecca, as long as you're forcing it, you're forcing it away. Stop forcing it. What is meant for you will never pass you by. I promise you that. Trust me, I'm still waiting. But it's okay, because I'm happy inside me. I found my bliss. I don't need somebody else telling me. What, who or what or how I am. In fact, I would love to just get a million dollars and just travel the world. 
and by myself. By myself. That way you ain't got nobody planning your day for you. Excuse me? I was planning on going to the beach. No, we're going for a ride in the country. What? I'm going to the beach. You could go for a ride in the country. Trust me. My honeymoon was in Maui. And the last thing I wanted to do was drive all the way around the island. I wanted to go to Wailea. And the Nike Beach, right next door. Not that I went Nike, but... Um, I did have a good time cracking up. I got. I probably should have left. I was. I don't know. I. I don't do. I don't do the the Nike thing. Maui, Wowie. No. I, you know what's weird? I saw. You know, I found very little of that in in Maui. I'm just like you get found out anyway. I know. Doesn't that suck, Gabriel? I, sometimes it sucks being psychic because then you know before it even happens that shit's all exposed and in your face. <laughs> Number one cause of divorce is marriage. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, if you don't get married, you don't, have, you don't, you don't, you don't have to get divorced. No, I don't like plastic things either. I'd rather do without Rebecca. But uh, the but the next person I get a hold of is 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 gonna have is gonna have some some energy they never they never thought was possible. <laughs> it's gonna be supernatural shit. Growl, <laughs> growling up for like a cat. hands. <laughs> hey, they're gonna have bots for that eventually, guys. And they don't talk back. They do whatever you ask them to do. You thirty four. Baby, I'm 56. I've already been through two marriages, two kids, nine grandchildren. Yeah, I think I just want to travel. I have a boyfriend in each country. Unless somebody comes along and is willing to match my, match my energy. Dare you. Whoever you are out there, there's only one person that even comes close and he's got that going on. So I don't even know if it will work out. And he's a Virgo. There's another issue. Of course he does. But see, you know, he needs your company every once in a while. Tell me to talk to. Yeah, Virgos are, yeah. He's got Cancer Moon and Cancer Rising. So that makes him a, a kind of a water sign. But at the same token, he's a real sweet guy, but he's still a Virgo. You never know what they're sticking their thing into. They're all about ego, especially the men. I've got two children. One will be 40 next year. Well, then, Rebecca, there's no better time to start than now. Sure I can, Heather. You know I can. Ooh. Who you got around you? Looks like all fixed signs. Looks like you got several choices and you don't want any of them. They all seem like too much work. And they're fighting over you. If they're not fighting over you, they're talking bad about you behind your back. As I said before, your opinion is none of my business. 
I'm the hermit. It's hermit time. Dee nee 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 nee. Can't touch this. Dee nee 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 nee. Hermit time. Yeah, they think they're God's gift to women. Lots of them do. And then when you cut them down to size, they think you're, they call you the crazy one. <laughs> you ain't all that. I'm sorry. And now you're a nutty bitch because you, you call them out. Whatever. Whatever, man. Go face your own mirror and then come back and tell me about it. And then we'll see if we can get along. Face your own shadow. <laughs> That's a question I keep ask, asking myself, Awakening. <laughs> you just might. Got the world card here. Ah, it's going to be a couple months. Sorry. But you are getting some. Could be a Gemini. Somebody's spying on you. They've been spying on you for a while. Thank you, Christian. Thank you so much. Somebody's definitely been spying on you for a while. Empress energy. So either you're the Empress or they're the Empress. And they're coming in with some love. They may be married, though. Just so you know, the Empress can be a mother or mar um, a marriage partner with the lovers. So, that's Libra Gemini. Thank you, Manny. Thank you, sweetie. Love you. Mm -hmm. Love you all. Exactly. You raise the bar and you do the work. And, 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 and Awakening, if you're a little intimidating, that's their problem. I put it in the I put it in the uh, comments. My song, your problem. If you're too intimidating for somebody else, that means you're standing in your truth. And if you're standing in your truth, then you have nothing to fear but fear itself. And if they can't handle that, next. I mean, we're gonna make up a song going. Can't touch it. Turn it down. <laughs> I like throws it up. Woo woo. <laughs> if you have to face your shadow a million times in order to find your perfect mate, then so be it. I would rather do that than move in with somebody and end up completely miserable within six months. And say, oh, fuck, why did I do this to start with? Well, because you were lonely, so you were being stupid. And we ain't going to be playing that no more. <laughs> Phone is 1%. I love this show. It damn sure is a show, isn't it? <laughs> we got the best people here. Thank you, William. Mwah. Love you. Yeah, when you tell them no, they lose their mind. I, that's why I don't say no. I just I just ghost. <laughs> I'm gonna go this way. Okay, yeah, whatever. Gotta go this way. <laughs> and dude, if you're watching, sorry, but you should have watched the last live. I already said no. You come here to Cincinnati, tell me you. I've just landed. You're creepy. You were a pig the first time I went out with you. That's why I won't go out with you again. I blew you off in California. Leave me the fuck alone. I don't care if you are in Cincinnati for some business. It just happens to be on, on a Scorpio eclipse and somebody threatened that they was going to Dispose of Earth Angels and Terror Readers on a reality show right before you came here. So no. And and, and his email said cast. C-A-S-T. Cast. Didn't say his name. 
said cast. I knew who he was. So how weird is that, guys? Yeah. You ain't getting within a mile of me. And if you show up on my front door, there's two locks and two doors. If you get through that second door, your day is... I can tell you that much right now. And I'll be, I'll be, I'll be making sure at least one foot's inside the door when the popo arrives. La la la! I didn't do anything, Lucifer. He came in my house. Yeah, welcome to all the new people who have joined. Brace yourself. Brace yourself for what? What are we bracing ourselves for? Oh, it won't be it won't be a knock, honey. I I I, I own things that go crackle in the night. And you ain't getting back up. And then I'll call the popo. Call the popo, ho. <laughs> That's the only thing I got in my head when you said that was Medea sitting there throwing them nice clothes all over that that uh, closet. Call the popo, ho. <laughs> Call the popo. <laughs> You know, peace is always still around me because I got my peace of steel. <laughs> I got my peace of steel right here. <laughs> Trying to take my coconut. I don't think so. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Wolf, 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 Wolf. Love you, baby. <laughs> Christian said with the dragon. <laughs> Come on, a popo. <laughs> I love you guys so much. We have so much fun in here. Anybody else want to <laughs> want to ask a question before I go? Because it's we in for for buck forty seven now. For buck forty two. You're welcome, Wolfie Wolf Wolf Wolf. Kid, we're just about ready to go off. You're gonna have to rewatch it though, cause it, there is a pretty funny shit going on here tonight. Yes, you can, Anna. Hawaii. I love Hawaii. I like Maui, but you know, I didn't I didn't like going there with my husband. Cause, Cause, I couldn't just hang out at the beach the whole time with all the surfers. I loved watching the surfers surf. Who are we doing, Anna? You're going through a transformation death card. Three of Cups, the death of a three party situation. Being fair to yourself, even if it means you end up alone. Tower, Scorpio Tower just happened. If it hasn't happened yet, it's about to. The fact that not nah, that's that's wrong, Heather. The problem is we give too many until we run out. I got you, Jack. We give too many shits until we run out of shits, and then it's empty. We got nothing left to give. So we got to fill it back up. This time, we keep it. I'll be back on Saturday night, Terry. You have to keep an eye out, because something goes on with the algorithm that unsubscribes people. And Bye, Aaron. We'll see you again soon. Who was I pulling for next? How can we keep in touch? Oh, Heather, that ain't me you're talking to. Because you guys know my, my email is in the bottom of all my videos. Okay, Jack, that was you. 
You got somebody coming, but they got an awful lot of baggage. Queen of Pentacles from the past. Coming back around in the Knight of Cups energy with a lot of baggage. I'm gonna make you feel stuck, Jack. Just saying. If that happens, you know what you know what they want. Yeah, and the scorpionic energy is brutal because you're cutting out what no longer serves you, even if you don't want to. One question at a time, Rebecca. One question at a time. Your love life could possibly have a Sagittarius coming towards you in the Ten of Cups. Wants family, wants the whole thing. Brand new beginning. You can't see this coming yet. <laughs> My people have more baggage than Sam tonight. <laughs> I hear you, girlfriend. <laughs> if they need to pack their bags and take it on down the road. You pack them Samsonites with all your shit. You're a Scorpio. Of course you are. Awakening. Oh, creating with Chrissy. I'll bet it is. I'll bet it's a dark place that you create from. But it's. I, I'll bet it's very cool. I bet, it, I, I bet you create some really cool shit from the darkness. Well, Awakening, it looks like something else might be coming in for you. And it might be... An, let's see again. Let's check it out again. It looked like it's something new. Yeah, you're about to receive a message... From a fire sign awakening. I think that's what came out before. And there's that message to you. If you're an Empress energy, um, it might be an Empress. The one the one you left, I don't know. I don't think it's one you left. I think it's somebody new coming in. But you have to be open to it. If you ain't open to it, it, it can't make its way to you. Exactly. You have to let go of the life you didn't get because it wasn't meant for you. Oh, I imagine. It's like having what what was it, what was it called? Dial up. I remember that. Well, that's what you gotta put your sights on, awakening. As long as you manifest the new, that's what you will get. Yep. Yeah. If you pretend you're somebody else, then you got to keep up that facade and that mask. And all the masks are coming off of everybody right now. So you're going to see everything for what it truly is, especially through these two eclipses. You're going to see how messed up they are, how demonic they are, how much healing they need to do for themselves. And you're going to be like, uh, I'm going to my cave now. I'll see you later. Bye. Hermit time. Dan, 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 dan. Game touches. <laughs> That's the way I've been. I like my rose-colored glasses. Yeah, I liked them too once. 
till they poke me in the eye with the magic wand. Yeah, for till after this this lunar eclipse, I ain't going nowhere. Bitches be killing it, coming after me from California. I got an issue. Like you said, if you're watching my live, stay the hell out of my energy and don't come to my house. You might get more than you bargained for. When's the lunar? I think it's the eighth. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's the eighth. And all that energy you see going on right now is exactly what's going to keep going on until then. You're releasing, Rebecca. You're releasing. You're releasing. Let yourself cry. Let yourself get it out because the more you allow that to disappear, the more whole you're going to feel with yourself. Yeah, oh, no, they they supposedly, Terry, had a business trip to come here exactly on the eclipse with cast on their uh, email after I got a message in my comments saying that they were going around on a reality show uh, sacrificing and killing um, earth angels and tarot readers. What if I told you I worked for a family in New York that do a reality show that's going around and, and we're sacrificing all the earth angels and, and tarot readers. Yeah, not. And then you tell me you're coming here from California exactly on the solar eclipse. Pitch. I was born, but I wasn't born yesterday. And I'm not going to be part of no reality show. I'm the fucking star, biatch. You ain't gonna you ain't gonna punk ass me because I I'm too smart for that. No, I don't need a restraining order. He finds out where I live, he's gonna die. Simple as that. On to the next world. I don't need a restrainer. Got to be a piece of steel, and I know how to use it. Got me several pieces of steel. I know how to use them all. I didn't take, I didn't take martial arts for no reason. What you go inside and read up? I love Medea. I love Tyler Perry. He kills me. <laughs> it is, you know, Terry. I mean, and this, this guy wants to come see me on the solar eclipse with the name cast on his email. And then I, I get that in my comments. I had to delete it, of course. But it's like, bitches, man, y'all be too, you all be too obvious. <laughs> Plus, you know, I got that and then some, Manny. Stuff I can't show on here. You saw one of them in in in, in uh, our Telegram, Manny. That's a nice piece, isn't it? That's a hunting knife. That's some on the underground web show shit. That's what I'm saying. And you know, they're promised, listen to this. Okay, I lived in Hollywood. I know how that works. Okay, they'll be promised a million dollars. Listen, to make a deal with the devil. To go take somebody else out. Okay, a million dollars. Would you do it? Because if you don't take that person out, you pay. So you take you take a risk. Either way. You either get shot by the person that you're after or the person that's hired you to start with. 
It's true, Manny. Like I said, I lived in Hollywood. It wasn't nothing anybody wouldn't do for a million dollars. Not anything. Place will drive you insane. Los Angeles will drive you insane and make you not care. What you got to do to survive. That is the 3D hell of 3Ds. Yep, it, that's that. Everybody thinks they're the star of a star of a show here, and all the world's indeed a stage, and we are merely pay, players, performers, and for, portrayers, each another's audience outside this gilded cage. Okay, so Rush had it all together with uh, that Limelight song. If you if you ain't never heard it, go listen to it. It's called Limelight by Rush, and it was made in the 1970s. So we knew exactly what this was all about. We knew what was coming long before it got here. Going through all these stupid-ass wars that were for nothing. Just because somebody peed on somebody else's boot. You peed on my boot. I'm going to nuke you. I mean, real, for real, how much damage could the Japanese have done? It, it's all its all a game. It's all stupid. And we need to just all take care of each other and get those people out of our way. You're welcome, Gabriel. I, I love your name. It represents my one of my angels. I do have angels that watch over me. One is... Michael and the other one is Gabriel. Ariel. They do watch over me. And I'm very grateful for that. <laughs> I didn't pee on your boot. Yeah, I'll well, tell Putin that. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> put, 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 put. <laughs> that wasn't anything uh, 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 political, by the way. Uh, I was just making fun of somebody farting. <laughs> <laughs> Tyus, we're about ready to wrap it up. We've been here two hours. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yeah. Ee, ee, ee. <laughs> Rebecca, that is definitely like walking into the wrong hotel at the wrong time. <laughs> They just made up the new name of a restaurant awakening. <laughs> we'll make sure we feed everybody beans. <laughs> All right, other. Yeah, I gotta go too, guys. Yep, that is true wealth, Jerry. It is the love and the serenity that you give others. That is true wealth. That and health. Especially these days. And I, that's what I want for all of you. To stay healthy. Drink that vitamin C. Not too much because you'll get the, you know what. And just love each other and take care of each other. Watch out for each other. Because that's all that really matters. I mean, sure, make a few bucks here and there. Set yourself up. Maria, what's in it for you? What's love got to do? Got to do with it. It's almost over. Whatever it is, you're about to get your wish. Message coming in. Six of wands. You win. Cha-ching. Your spiritual gifts, you have to get a private for that, honey, because I have to look at your chart too. You have to get a private reading. If you want me to, if you want me to guess about your spirit spiritual gifts, I need to see your chart. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure, Rebecca. 
<laughs> Mine just happens to be one I can hold in my hand. So. Oh, Kit, you and me both. You and me both. We're going we're gonna to have to talk, baby. We're going to have to talk. What does it mean to have a stellion in Scorpio? Anybody want to answer that? That means that you have a special job to do here. Bringing the dark to light. So a stellion means that you have three or more planets in that sign. It's very, very strong energy. And there should be an 11, a 17, or a 28 degrees there. That would tell you in your where you are in your spiritual journey in each planet. Find out which planets are there. Then find out the degrees and what house they're in. And you can find it on your own. You can also look up your galactic signature. Go to lawoftime.org and find your galactic signature. And after you find your galactic signature, go just type it into a new box and it'll bring up the whole thing. Tell you exactly what you're here for. You are here to love, to love from the darkness. Thank you, Tyus. Woohoo! The poem. Uranus, Venus, Sunus. Yep. Oh, yeah. You're here to shake shit up, baby. Shake shit up in love and the I am. I would look into it. Go dig deeper, baby. Dig deeper. Dig way down in there like no other. Like a Scorpio can. Yeah, Rebecca, I do. I think you're meant to be single until you figure out what you want. Like I said, I've been single since 2011. And now I, for a while there, I thought I wanted something. But after being by myself now for two years and just dating here and there, I think I'm okay. I mean, it'd be nice to have somebody around to protect me, but I'm more badass than they are, so what's the point? Just saying. If somebody would, if somebody could meet me on that same level, sure, no problem. But there's only maybe one or two out there in this whole damn world that could do it. Otherwise, I'll whoop their ass. They don't know how to, they don't know how to handle me. Because I give the cold hard truth. Because I tell it like it is. Bitch, you don't play me. I'm that, I'm that song. It must, be, it must be exhausting to lose your own game. Because I don't play with your stupid ass games. Huh? Believe me, Rebecca. It costs me quite a bit to get here. Including my own fam family. So it costs me a lot. To get here. <laughs> Terry says kid gloves in complete honesty. Nah, I don't have kid. The gloves are off in my case. And that's the part people can't handle, so they call me names. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but names will never hurt me. <laughs> I don't play. My scar, I wear my insides on the outsides. And if you don't like it, you are not meant to be part of my clan. Where we all are allowed to be ourselves. Everybody's this self in here. Ain't nobody got to put on no masks. And there ain't nobody judging. Hi, Nancy. Yep. Yeah. We don't need masks in here because, yeah, the, and that's, that, that, that's basically what they're doing, Manny. They can't have me, so they project on me. So I, I, I'm a piece of crap because you can't have me. 
Yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> yeah, me, they're awakening. They're suffocating. I would rather I would rather be told on, you know, on everything on the table. That's my Aquarian energy too, and Scorpio energy. I, I want it all out there on the table. On the insides, on the outsides. Don't play me. Because once you do it, it's for you. Queen is queen of my fucking swords, and it's off with your head. And there ain't no more to say. Adults having tantrums. Yeah. I, I told you what to do when you see the happening. Sit down beside them and have a tantrum next to them and show them what they look like. <laughs> Let me show you what you look like. Yeah, you dipshit. <laughs> you look stupid. You'll cry after, though. <laughs> I might cry. I might cry while I'm beating your ass, but I'll still beat your ass. <laughs> you know, you shouldn't have to push anybody to be emotionally available. They should be emotionally available or they got issues that they need to get out of themselves before they come to you. All right, guys, we've been here 206. I got to go. No more vamps. No, nope, no, nope. I'm, I'm bled dry, bitches. <laughs> Does it matter, Awakening? Mostly unavailable or a narcissistic? What does it matter? Either way, you lose. Two lose. I love you guys. And I'm going to go ahead and go. It's already 9 o'clock. Got to get up and do my thing tomorrow. You guys take care of yourselves. And make sure that... A little too tall. Could have used a few pounds. Tight pants, points. Haul them down. I got a black wig, too, by the way. I, I got to get dressed up for you guys. You guys are going to love it. Ah, take care. Take care of each other. Hey, Earth Angel, we're closing out. And yeah, me too. I ain't getting, I, I ain't having to deal with anything but the invisible. And they're fairly harmless. You guys take care out there. I mean it. I mean it. Especially this winter for anybody who's living in the Northern Hemisphere. Take care of yourselves. Make sure you're stocked up. Make sure you got what you need. My power went out at 3 a.m. for no apparent reason this morning. And none of us are alone. We've all got each other. Remember that? I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye. <laughs>